Happy Hump Day. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. Breckenridge Grand Vacations is stalled again on its sprawling and contested new project at the base of Breck Connect Gondola. Last night, town council voted 6-1 to one to hold a public hearing in November, giving you the chance to comment on condos, timeshares, and another parking structure. Mayor Eric Mamula was the lone vote against another delay. That hearing is held November 9th, two days before the town cuts the ribbon on its own $38 million parking garage. Town of Frisco is moving forward with a workforce housing project on CDOT property downtown, even though Councilman Andy Held thinks they could do better. We ended up with suburbia throwing some green stuff at it. Doesn't end up being all that green as far as I understand. I think there's there's kind of a lot of misses here. Held and Councilwoman Jesse Burley railed against half-hearted green construction there. Most of council says learn now and do better next time. Rick Ankin. I'm going to take this in and learn from it and continue to look at those other projects as we keep going. Estimated cost is $6.2 million with 22 affordable units split between CDOT and in-town employees. The people have spoken and they want a third summer of the Frisco Pedestrian Promenade, but Town Council does not. Next summer, Main Street will be open to cars again. Melissa Sherburn. Our street really is not designed as a pedestrian promenade and while I love the thought of it, I found myself wanting to avoid the area of downtown altogether. Business inequity, lost parking, and a flea market atmosphere were sticking points for five of seven council members. Mayor Hunter Mortensen knows he is in the minority. Probably never seen more people taking a picture of a street in my life, and I don't think we will again until we bring it back when we do it right. But um, it was, I think it was great, but the majority is moving on towards parklets. A review of tax revenue proves at least one fear did come true. Businesses inside the promenade enjoyed a 9% bump in business. Council was afraid of this inequity, but staff thinks they could mitigate it by charging $150 annually to keep renting Main Street space for parklets. That's 10 times cheaper than the actual value of asphalt there, so the town will most likely be charging more, a fee to be determined later. October weekends at the Eisenhower Tunnel were busier than March, April, and May, and September was the second busiest of the year behind only July. So far this year, weekend traffic has topped a half million vehicles five of ten months, January, June, July, August, and September. The CDC has approved COVID vaccine booster shots for anyone over the age of 18. You'll have to wait six months after your first round of Pfizer or Moderna, two months after Johnson & Johnson. It is also now considered safe to mix those approved brands. In sports, the Avalanche lost to the Golden Knights last night 3-1. The Nuggets lost to the Jazz 122-110. And in local sports, yesterday's Summit High volleyball match with Battle Mountain has been rescheduled for today. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.